This screencast will discuss the LLE flash routine for MATLAB. I've placed the code from the software distribution in a folder called CHE Thermo, and I'm going to navigate down to ch the Chapter 14 folder. I'll open LLE Flash and undock it. First notice that LLE Flash requires an input of the composition, the overall composition, and the temperature in Kelvin. It will return the raffinate composition, extract composition, and the extract over feed ratio E over F. EOF. Notice that the function is written to use components 1 and 2 as the key immiscible components. In addition, the component 1 should be the less dense component, usually the organic, uh, because it will be the extract phase, and the routine is set up to work in that way. Again, the temperature must be in Kelvin. The routine is written to work with either Unifac or Uniquac, and it is really not limited to those two models. It's easy to modify this to use a different model. You can set this flag option to specify which model to use. Notice that when the option is set to case 1, it will use Unifac. It finds the temperature in Celsius and it is configured as distributed to work with methyl ethyl ketone and water, the textbook example. You can see the structure of methyl ethyl ketone as component 1, the less dense organic component. Here is the option for case 2 where Uniquac is used and the parameters for the size and shape and energy are entered. Next we find a summary of the key variables. The names are pretty obvious. Then we enter the main loop of the program. Here we set up the tolerances, initial values, and determine the number of components from the length of Z. We start the initialization and for Unifac and Uniquac we need to make sure we don't pass values of identically zero for composition to those routines or we'll get a not a number response. Uh, so we add 10 to the minus 50. These two statements are actually setting the compositions to 10 to the minus 50 for all the components in both phases. But then these next two statements set the key component concentrations to the initialization that will typically converge. If you have trouble converging, you can change these initial guesses. This is sometimes necessary. The activity coefficients are calculated at the initialization composition and the K ratio. Then we enter the main loop. We're going to enter the main loop and iterate until the error in the K values or the change in Ks is less than the tolerance. From the estimated values of the K ratio, we iterate on the flash equation to find the ratio extract over feed, EOF. This is an adaptation of the vapor flash routine from chapter 10. Once the ex extract over feed ratio is found, we then, we then determine the compositions for the raffinate and extract. We normalize to assure that they sum to 1, and then we proceed. The ratchford rice method works by successive substitution. We have K ratios used to find the X's. We then use the X's to find gammas, and then find a new K ratio using the gammas determined from the activity coefficients. Next, we output intermediate results and loop back. We provide counters and the tolerance checker to make sure the K ratios are converging. You can see that the principles are pretty simple. Let's run LLE Flash and look at the results. Before I run, let me look and show you for working with Unifac that we can choose to use either the LLE version or the VLE version. To switch between them, we just change which Unifac setup routine is called. In this case, it is set up to use the LLE routine. If I wanted to use the VLE 
routine, I would just remove the LLE that's appended. Because this is a function with input and output, I need to use the entire information on the command window line. So I'll, I'll copy this. paste and I can set the composition. Uh, as it was configured it had two components so let me set the composition. I need to set it in a region where two phases will exist. And here it's converged and you see a history of the iterations. It took about 80 iterations to converge and there is the result.